So I was looking at the sportsman the other day. And I come to the conclusion that I think I'm going to change those tires. We have kind of a 50-50 out at the lake for trails. 50% of them are sand. 50% of them are mud. So yeah, I think I'm gonna change these tires. Even though I haven't even rode it yet. I've got about two minutes of seat time taking it on and off the truck. These original tires have about, eh, about half, three quarters of an inch of lug on it. And I just don't think they're going to do. So it's upgrade time. So I was doing some measuring. And right about there, from the tire to the fender, we got about six inches. Six and a half inches. And that's to the very outside of it. It does go in a little bit, but we've got this here as well. And then there is that duct up front there. And when you turn the wheel, there's about two and a half inches there. And on the back wheels, looks like we have approximately two inches there. And these original tires, on the rear anyway, are 26 by 10 by 14. And looking at the overall height of it, it's looking like it's about 25 and a half inches. If anybody's ever wondering. So I was in talking to a guy about tire sizing tire brands, tire models, and I think I've pretty much made my decision. I'm just going to take these wheels off and stick them in the truck and go get them changed. I made my decision, went with Maxxis Zillas and size 28, 11, 14 on the back and 28, 9, 14 on the front. And on the back fender we have approximately one inch, maybe a little more than one inch of clearance there should be enough. And on the front, looks like we've got somewhere around an inch and a half or so between the tire and this plastic vent thing. So it looks like we got plenty of room. I uh, got them on, nothing's rubbing, everything looks good on them. I am liking the looks of those Zillas. And looking at the rear along the side here, they do stick out a little bit from the fender, but I think that's going to be uh, not a problem. And it does stick out just slightly more than the originals do, but I don't really care. So if you're looking for a good deal from friendly, knowledgeable people, check out Recreational Power Sports. And until next time, we'll see you on the trail.